Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 2, or the last 12 round, for the Earthshakers tournament. And yes, there's going to be 3 matches per video, so th this will be divided into 2 parts, with part 1 being this video, where we will see the Pinacosaurus taking on Panoplosaurus, Alpha Wuhosaurus going up against Armadus, and Tarkia going up against the Centaurus. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Alrighty then, in the red corner, and oops, <laughs> I forgot to enter the character card codes. Oh well. Anyway, in the red corner we have a Pinacosaurus. Pinacosaurus was quite impressive in his victory over the over Tank. Unfortunately for Tank, it didn't really get too far. Yes, I can't wait to see what Pinacosaurus can do in this matchup. It's going to be tough though, because in the blue corner we have the Pina no, the Panoplosaurus. Panoplosaurus is quite an under underrated beast. Wait, 1850? Hang on a minute. Eight? It's got 1850 base attack. I need to check some. I won't check it. Well, I'll check it off camera, so don't worry. <laughs> it won't disrupt the video. But yeah, a lot of people seem to be loving this tournament so far, so keep it up. Keep it up, guys. I love it. Love to win these. And I love that you guys love them as well. Okay, so tie. We start with a tie. Don't seem ties don't seem to favour anyone at the minute. Ooh, but that will favour the Pinacosaurus. An earthquake. Smash. And yes. Look on the top of the Dinosaur King. Look for a mod showcase next week. I'll hopefully get it. Well, it will come out next week. I only need one more skin to finish. And I'm planning to finish it today. Well, on the day I'm recording this video. Ooh, Pinacosaurus on top. A diving press is imminent. Panoplosaurus not looking in the best of shape so far. The Pinacosaurus has a sizable lead. Although, the pa Panoplosaurus does get off a crest. Could it be on a way of it? Could it be... Could it be starting to come back? My answer to that is no. The Pinacosaurus hangs on there to get a 1-0 lead over the Panoplosaurus. Hmm, and, and, well, it started quite even. The Pinacosaurus got some good hits off. Panoplosaurus put a late, little bit of a late fight back, but the Pinacosaurus saw it home. So, yep, yeah, that's round one. Let's move on to round two. Yes, I didn't forget the characters this time. So we have round two between the Pinacosaurus and the Panoplosaurus. And yes, I actually looked up the, the Panoplosaurus really quick and I checked my my cards because I have the car. And this Panoplosaurus is actually lethal type, which I did not realise. So normally it would have 1650 strength, but instead it has 1850. And that's why it has 1850 strength total attack, because it has its lethal type. And I didn't realise that. Um, I probably will have to update my damage list because lethal type is the only printing of it and I think the fact that it is lethal type does give it the highest crit damage out of the earth dinosaurs well for si with scissors crits that is you know this it still doesn't come close to Lex to things like Tajongosaurus so don't worry Tajongosaurus you don't you don't have anything to worry about pipe Panoplosaurus doesn't even come close to you I think it's 850, the crit for Panoplosaurus. So yeah, <laughs> that's basically the same as Tajongosaurus non-lethal type. Well, there's that lethal type crit there, coming in handy for Panoplosaurus, as it dispatches the Pinacosaurus to even the score. Right, you know what that means, it's all going to come down to this next round. Alright then, round three. Which one of these two unknowns can get past the last 12? Will it be Panoplosaurus or will it be Pinacosaurus? A clash of the peas? Oof. Pinacosaurus, Panoplosaurus. Which one will make it? Let's find out. Well, the Pinacosaurus getting off that diving press, the opening hit there. Boosh. Not much damage dealt though. Panoplosaurus can shake that off with not too much ease, but with a little bit of ease. But can it tank? Well, it's going to tank another one, but it is going to be on low health. 
Pinecosaurus on top early on. Use a tie, but again, well, ties favour the Pinecosaurus now because it does have more health left. Oh, yep, yeah, well, Panoplosaurus, despite having that lethal type crit, is going bye bye. The Venom Fang coming in to finish it off, and Pinecosaurus claiming, I would probably say an upset win because I think Panoplosaurus is, better di is a better dinosaur than Pinecosaurus. But yeah, Pinecosaurus, the ye the yellow-backed beast, looking quite good there, as it advances to the semi-finals. Well, 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 well. If you bet your money on Pinecosaurus, then you're a f prophet. And commiserations to Panoplosaurus didn't quite happen for it. It did put up a fight, but Pinecosaurus was utterly dominant in that third round. So yeah, that is our first matchup of the last 12 done. Let's move on to our second matchup of this video, which sees the Alpha Wuhosaurus taking on Armatus. Alrighty then, this should be an interesting match. In the red corner, we have the Alpha Wuhosaurus. Alpha Wuhosaurus complete and utter dominance in the first round against its normal counterpart. I don't even think it took a hit. It didn't take a hit. Alpha Wuhosaurus was unscathed. However, it's going to be tough for it this time because in the blue corner, we have yet another modified Stegosaur, the Armatus. Both of these are poison types. I feel like this will be a much tougher test for the Alpha Wuhosaurus, and I would say that Armatus does have the edge in this matchup. And what I will say is after this realizing that Panoplosaurus was lethal type, I am going to double check a lot of these dinosaurs to make sure I don't miss anything out like that. Five. We start with a tie. Ties well. Favour no one to be honest because neither of our combatants have sand trap and neither of our combatants have moves that help in a tie. But at least the Wolfosaurus has actually taken more damage with with these three ties than it took in the whole of the first round matchup. It's another tie. Nothing to separate these two so far. Armatus does appear to have a slight lead though, and that lead is not going to be extended because of the Dino Stuffer. Stop putting a stop to the crit and turning Armatus into a stuffed toy. And the Rock Roller has been triggered though, so if Armatus gets off another crit, it's going to be game over for Woohoo Swords. Come on RNG, give us something good. But yeah, another time. I feel like it's just going to come down to one hit. Armatus does have a very slight lead though. And Armatus is going to win this first round matchup with a well-timed Rock Roller. A tie fest there ended by a crit from Armatus. Second time's the charm, as they say, and the galley rush is coming in for overkills as well. But the Alpha Wuhosaurus tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament. In fact, taking damage for the first time in this tournament. But yep, yeah, Armatus. A well-timed rock roller there after several, several, several ties, taking a 1-0 lead. But don't count the Alpha Woohoo out yet, it still has some fight left in it, so let's see if it can fight back in round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two Stegosaurs. Can the Alpha woohoo come back into it, or can Armatus pull away with a 2-0 win? And let's move the cursor away from this battle screen. Very professional, I am. Not really. <laughs> Ooh, Armatus getting the first hit. Although, technically, Armatus only got one hit off in the last matchup, but it was a rock roller, so it did lots of damage. Well, technically, it got two hits, but the Dino Stuffer put a stop to the first one, which enabled the Rock Roller to get triggered to finish off the Woohoosaurus, and Rock Roller is going to get triggered again. Okay, that's a six. Oh, well, I think Armatus is probably going to win this matchup. Armatus looking mightily impressive so far. And yep, and it's poisoned the Alpha Wuhosaurus. And the Galley Rush is coming in to add extra damage. 
So yeah, I think Armatus is going to... Oh, definitely. Wow, the poison took loads of health. Yep, that's game over. Oh, the Dino Stuffer! The, I, I forget about Dino Stuffers. I always forget about it. But yep, the Dino Stuffer prolonging Wuhasaurus' defeat. Probably for a, about a little bit. But there's a poison there. Yep, it's a tie. Just like the normal Wuhasaurus in the first round, Alpha Wuhasaurus fails to get a hit off. Although it did land damage with ties, but that was basically it. Armatus completely dominant. And Armatus will be advancing to the semi-finals, where it will take on the underdog, the Panoplosaurus. No, the Pinocosaurus, sorry. Oh, I, I always get the peas mixed up, don't I? You got mushy peas, marrow fat peas, pea peas. No? But anyway, that's enough about that matchup. On to our final matchup of this video, and that sees the Dark Horse Tarkia going up against Desantorurus. A clash of the green boys. Edelson. All right, then. In the red corner, we have a Tarkia. A Tarkia was impressive in the first round. And I suspect this Tarkia could go quite far in this tournament. It's the attack type version as well. So it's one of those unique dinosaurs that's attack type, but its crit doesn't do an insanely high amount of damage. However, in the blue corner we have the definite underdog in this matchup, the DeSantoros, our local hero, was utterly dominant in the first round against the Polacanthus. But I feel like he's in for a much, much more tougher physical test this time. And I think it'll have done really well if it can get past this Tarkia, because Tarkia is an absolute beast. Well, with a start like that, Taki is going to win this match comfortably. Although, as I said, his crit doesn't do that high damage. But, getting consecutive crits off is also is still very good for the Taki, and Desantorurus just cannot get a hit. Oh, that was quick, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Taki is showing no mercy, picking up where he left off and gets a 1-0 lead on the Desandrorus already. We could be in for the quickest match ever in, this, in these mini tournaments. So let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with round two. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. I suspect Ed will have the edge in this matchup. Although, don't count the dino, don't count the coolest character in the whole show out yet. Dr. Taylor and the Desandrorus have been impressive. I, I wish you could play as Dino Man. That would have been so cool if they had like a Dino Man build. That would have been really cool. But oh well, was it meant to be? Of course, this is coming from a guy who thinks having an Alpha Trooper as a character card would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, an Alpha Droid. Well, the Santoros getting a hit. Didn't get one of those off last time, did it? Ooh, defense boost and Earth Barrier. The Santoros might is in a much stronger position this time. Taki is going to have his work cut out. Oh, that's a tie. Ties favour Desantorurus more, though. So keep the ties coming. The, the Desantorurus won't mind. Ooh, another defence boost imminent from the Desantorurus. Getting off yet another hit on the Tarkia. Tarkia not looking too good this time. Defence boost and earth barrier is going to make Desantorurus really tough to take down. Well, if the Tarkia can even get a hit in this round, the Santorurus making up for its first round failings. Ooh, the, ta the Tarkia's got off a hit, and it's a final fury imminent as well after this net crusher. However, the barrier and defense boost are in effect, and I do believe they stack. But final fury made up for that there. One crit from the Tarkia could change this match. If it can get a crit. Oh, there's a tie. Oh, the Tarkia's gone. Tarkia defeated in the ties. And the Desantorurus evens the score. In a much more... In a much more slower matchup this time. It was a lot slower than the first matchup, which ended in like five seconds. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's move on to our 
No, wait, no, we got a third round to do first. <laughs> I almost forgot. And it's even the last match of this video. All over the place, all over the place. Let's, conc let's conclude this matchup with round three. All right, round three, a showdown at the beach. Can the Santorellas continue its impressive run after that second round win? Or can the Tarkia strike back to win for itself? <laughs> Did it? Well, Earth Barrier certainly saved the Santorellas a lot of damage. But yeah, I think that the Santorellas is going to win anyway, regardless of the Earth Barrier. And it had defense boost as well, so... The Santorurus looked very impressive in that last round, and it opens things up with a crit. No Earth Barrier this time, though. Ooh, could that be costly? Could that be costly? Well, so far, no, because the Santorurus is getting off yet another hit. And our Dark Horse, the Tartier, is in a bit of trouble here. Make that a lot of trouble. Earth Barrier in imminent. Which means the Taki is going to probably need at least, I'd say at least four hits to, to have any chance of winning. Maybe even five. Well, there's one hit, the Net Crusher incoming. Although the Decentralist will not take too much damage though, thanks to the Earth Barrier. And Defense Boost as well, which I do believe, which is, again, as I said, they do stack. Ooh, but, oh, <laughs> Light recovery coming now. Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Light recovery is going to fully heal the Decentralurus. That Crystal Crusher could come in very handy for Tarkia now. Oh, but it doesn't get it off! The Decentralurus, the local hero of this tournament, gets off a hit and comes from behind to defeat one of the tournament's dark horses, the Tarkia. Well, I was disappointed in the Tarkia there. I thought, well, I thought after that first round that Tarkia was going to win comfortably, but give the DeSantorurus some credit for showing its resilience and getting past the silver, green, yellowed beast. So yeah, DeSantorurus booking their place in the semi-finals. Who will it take on? Well, you're going to have to find out in the next part, aren't you? <laughs> yes. But anyway, let's move on to the uh, bracket thing discussion -ness bit, and then we'll end the session. Well, this definitely makes things interesting so far. So our first semi-final matchup is going to be Pinacosaurus going up against Armatus. Again, you would probably say Armatus is the favourite in this matchup, but the Pinacosaurus has already defeated two bronzes in its journey to get here, and can he make it three out of three? Wouldn't bet against it, would you? And then over here, a definite upset. This. I thought the Taki was going to win this matchup, but, but the Desantorurus, our local hero, definitely stepped up in this in this matchup to defeat the Tarkia and book their place in the semi-final. Although, it's whoever they get is going to be a very tough matchup, whether it's Tijonosaurus and its super-powered crit, or Cychania Tector and, well, its armor, if it even gets it off. So whichever one of these the Desantorurus ends up facing is going to be a very tough match. But yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on part 2 of the uh, last 12. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.